The European Food Safety Authority, or EFSA, is tasked with providing independent scientific advice on risk assessment to the decision makers who regulate food and feed safety, nutrition, animal health and welfare, plant protection and plant health across the European Union. As part of this work, EFSA cooperates on a number of scientific activities with organisations in the EU. Outsourcing scientific work is very important for EFSA. It gives us access to high-level expertise and independent knowledge within the European Union and it gives us a possibility to do so in a fair and transparent manner. In order to accomplish this, EFSA has made available an increasing budget for this scientific cooperation with member state organizations over the last years. EFSA outsources scientific activities through grants and procurements as set out in its founding regulation. With regard to grants, EFSA provides a financial contribution to organizations to carry out specific projects within the areas of EFSA's work. In order to be eligible for grant funding, an organisation must be included in a list of organisations set up in compliance with EFSA's founding regulation, the so-called Article 36 list. The list was established and EFSA updates a list of organisations put forward by the Member States. Organisations in the Article 36 list may apply to EFSA's grants calls, which are advertised on its website. EFSA purchases scientific services through EU public procurement procedures. In contrast to grants, in procurement there is no pre-established list of competent organisations. Any organisation in the EU that fulfils the requirements indicated in a procurement call advertised on the EFSA website and in the official journal of the European Union can submit an offer. Cooperation with organisations through grants and procurements affords EFSA many benefits, as well as for grant and procurement recipients. The work uh, we carry out for EFSA uh, contributes to EFSA scientific work and raises, of course, our own profile in the international scientific community. Uh, participating uh, in grants and procurements uh, helps us to strengthen our capabilities and also allow us to establish partnerships and of course it fosters scientific cooperation. We have our own uh, budgets but uh, this is an additional uh, possibility uh, that provides us a funding opportunity for our organization. I would encourage anyone working within the remit of EFSA to apply for EFSA grants and procurements goals. With regard to grants, the Article 36 list also helps to facilitate networking opportunities between the organisations on the list. With the help of EFSA's search tool, organisations can easily identify potential partners in different countries or partners with complementary expertise. The work that we outsource through grants and procurements is crucial for EFSA in preparing its scientific opinions. We encourage organisations within the remit of EFSA's responsibility to apply to grants and procurement calls. Please visit the EFSA website regularly to find opportunities for applying to EFSA's grants and procurements calls.